on YouTube. I haven't put any videos on for a while. I've been well busy trying to get this log cabin I've made done. Uh, I think it's about ready to well, show you a bit. It's not finished yet, you know. But this is why I've been putting any videos on anyway for a while. This is where I'm up to wheel to now. It's made nearly all that reclaimed wood. It's only small. Even window. Even that's a reclaimed. Works. You can see. It's not quite finished yet. But it's getting there now. And we had a bonfire party up here the other day for Halloween and bonfire night. You see I ain't clad it in that yet, it's tips are only temporary. No door handle really yet. This is inside. What these logs are, they're, they're actually fence posts. The fence posts, they weren't in great shape, they've been out, it's all reclaimed, like I say, but it didn't take much to fail them up, a bit of sanding. These, um, these 2 be tools, these are actually from uh, asbestos removal companies. They clad houses in them. This is old insulation. It's painted white, you see a few rips in it, taped it up. <laughs> the lights from an old school. You've seen my video on me. Log burning stove. That keeps it plenty warm enough for me. I've not got it on at a minute, but yeah, that keeps it warm. Oh, we've got an electric one as well in there. There's no wiring in yet. But this is what I've been busy with anyway. That's why I had any videos on for a while. Take that deck on the outside. The deck, all this deck wood, even though it looks new, is reclaimed. I'll show you a piece. I'm sure I've got a piece of it left over somewhere that we used. Bit long. I don't know if you can see, but it looks all right on that side. But if you can see under there, <laughs> it's being used. We just turned it round. Uh, even bobbins. These are all. These are all uh, reclaimed as well. Now, trouble with these, what we found were. Just give me a second. Because they've been fitted already. Oh. Because they've been fitted already, these were out in a fencing company that we, uh, we have deals with. They've got scrolls in top and bottom, this one's not actually a bad one, it's split there. But uh, When you come to screw them back in, you can't without putting either long screws in or screwing them front front. So, you know, there's little bits like that you see you have to make a screw on shore, but it's alright. These are old, these are old fence posts, but, um, fence panels. They were tapered on edges, so we just doubled them up to make handrails I think we used in the deck under the deck here there's two new pieces of wood in there these two the front and side piece but all the rest is scaffolding planks tipped on the side and bolted in like I say the cabin so I'll put some pictures on it these fence posts it works it's a good enough place for us to do as work when we've been out shooting and skinning and preparing birds especially that weather's going on if you can see rain and wind on here you probably hear it but it's not good it's bad weather but i've been rushing to get it waterproofed that's been a big uh, thing we wanted to get it waterproof for this winter so i haven't had a chance to make really many videos or anything just trying to get this done there's a chimney And it's coming on now. Yeah, this window, we found this on a fly tipping. Someone had been fly tipping rubbish in some woods, and there were a window in there. It was actually double sized, we've cut bottom off window here. 
or another window underneath which we've cut away it's, uh, it's good enough for us I've not even had a chance to finish sealing it all up yet some bits are sealed out if you can see in here some bits are sealed but some ain't sealed like if you come down here you can see packing in there still so like out back here something like out back it's not glad you can see the um, insulation we've put in that's back at fireplace we haven't clad that yet, I had a chance. Not got gutters piped up properly yet either. Let's do it. I'm coming back in because it's a lot warmer here. I've got electric heater on. Yeah, we had uh, we had a party for bonfire night and everyone coming here later on. It was nice. Yeah, all reclaimed wood. Well, majority, a lot of fixings. We had to pay for a lot of fixings, obviously, and things like that. And, you know, the, the packing we've put in here. You know, chinking. We had to buy things such as that, but other than that, most of wood is uh, is scrap wood or reclaimed or for very little cost. Um, I don't know what else to say really. Or oh, the laminate, even the laminate floor, my old uh, living room, and the bricks that surround the fireplace were off an old drive we were doing recently. The stainless steel that surrounds the fire. There from an old Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah, I think they were door panels or something like that. Some at daft. Uh, yeah. That's just my old air rifle from when I was a kid. It zooms in it. There you go. Yeah. I hope you all like it. You know, you know I have uh, not been making any more videos recently. It's took a lot of work. Been building it for the last month or so after work and so on. Yeah. Cheers, YouTube. I hope you like it. I'll do more videos on how we built it and um, various things, you know, working in here and things like that. But cheers, guys. Windy out here, so I'm have to speak up loud for you. It's, it's bad weather. That's why we've been rushing to get it done, really. But I thought I'd just show you the um, the notches in the wood. I know a lot of people are probably interested in how that's done. But we only did see some of these are a bit chovelled like that. There we did them with a chainsaw, and as you can see, it didn't work out well. But we didn't have to do them all. Only some of these shorter pieces we had to do because I'll just show you some of the wood that we're involved in in making this now some of these fence posts actually come with a notch drilled into them to sit it's so they can just you know put them on top of things or nail them together easy enough like i said i'll put a picture onto these fences up or some of them that are around this area anyway I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but that's the fencing. That's what they use a lot of them fence posts we built cabin out around uh, around Yorkshire. But these are the these are the the basic woods we used. As you see, they're not not they're not in great shape. These these were all off cuts we didn't use. Just basic fence posts. They've even got spikes in some of them. That were an off cooks, it was rotten up bottom. Some of the stuff like uh, these two befores, these are from uh, asbestos companies. And they, they cover buildings and that in this and then plastic sheet it to work on, you know, stop all asbestos just going everywhere. And then they have to destroy it after, which seems a waste. We just rinse all the dust off it if there is any. <laughs> Probably not the safest thing ever, but you know, it works. These are the decking planks we got. These were actually from a, a neighbour. Uh, the house has been converted into a disabled home now, I believe, or something like that. And it had a big deck on back garden, which they took up now. And this is what the wood looked like. But when we turned it around, it was obviously quite nice underneath, which is what we did all the deck out of. It's not stained or anything like that. I believe the wood's about, I think he told me the deck had been there for about eight years or something like that. So. It's quite old but it's lasted well, it's all tantalised wood. I believe some of these, these were newer ones these. 
These were tantalised, these were uh, a bitch to cut, a real bitch to cut. Uh, but some are just basically these fence post ones with notches are just really, they're just regular, you know, wood, they've not been treated or all that really. Same with other fence posts, they're just all regular. We had a few that had been treated in some way, and I don't know if they treated or what, but we, we struggled to cut them even chainsaw struggled a little bit. You can see they're not, they're not perfect notches, it didn't have to be. It's not to live in, it's it's to work in, so you see a lot of woods uh, split in some places, uh, I believe there's a proper name for that. But it's not right for us. I mean you'll see there's a lot of them uh it's the four befores that we used in. But, Uh, for base, for to hold it up, you know, for foundations, if you like. It's just tar paper on the roof. It's planks and and tar paper insulated. Nothing uh, exciting really going on with the roof. Again, these are some of our flogs we used as well. You just split that middle. You can see they've all been used, screws and stuff in them. That were a big thing, we had to denail loads of stuff which were a pain, but you can't complain if wood were for free or next to note. A lot of people have given us wood to help with this and fixings and things like that. A lot of hinges and things like that. These are all, I mean, we haven't even painted these yet. You can see they're still rusty. Um, We had to make deck particularly strong, obviously imagine this this weighs quite a bit in wood. There's a lot of weight there, I would say it's probably as much as a small car in wood weight. There's some MR flogs we used on the side there. There were obviously trees and bushes and stuff where we put cabin. And we just shredded them up and that's now the floor in front of it because it was getting quite muddy at this time of year to work here. Uh, that's where we're out to now. I'm going back in anyway, it's freezing. Also I'd like to add that uh, obviously I didn't build this on my own completely. Uh, I've had a lot of my friends helping and people I know. Uh, big thanks to Craig and uh, Wes and Dave. That, have been instrumental in the building of this uh, cabin as well. Uh, and I also like to thank a lot of uh, new subscribers I've got on YouTube. Um, I like all the comments you leave me on uh, on my videos and uh, you know things like and the, and the private message I receive as well off some of you, which are fantastic. I hear about similar stories with your furs and stuff you've done as well that have turned out really well. Uh, thanks a lot, YouTube. Cheers.